Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me in my room. <laughs> I don't have a coffee. My routine has changed. Used to be I would get up, make myself a cup of coffee and tell you about whatever I was gonna tell you, but that's not how it's going these days. So, I thank you for joining me for coffee even though I'm not actually drinking coffee. <laughs> Had to get up early today. Maisie is at the hairdresser. The groomer is going to make her all pretty. So I had, you know, I didn't comb my hair. I threw a hat on. Now I'm trying to make my hair look presentable and, you know, whatever. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> so the cleaner ladies came yesterday. They were very lovely young women. Of course, you knew that because I vlogged during their visit with us yesterday. They worked hard for six hours and um, didn't even finish the house. But what they did was really good, and I was very happy with the work. I knew that I was booking for six hours, and there was a chance that they wouldn't finish. And they were doing a deep cleaning. They were washing the baseboards when... and you know, all my masks got dusted. I mean, really nice. In fact, oh, I should take a bath tonight because the bathtub's super clean. <laughs> we have a big soaking tub. Anyway, so they did a lovely job. I can't get over the fact that when we had our, um, we had the guy come to talk to us about and sell us our elevator chair that we put in for Aura. When he was there, I noticed that the kickboards or risers or whatever you want to call it on the steps, we have hardwood steps, but the risers are painted white and they looked terrible. And I was thinking between the time the guy came to give us the quote and the time they came to put in the chair that we should paint those because they look terrible. And of course we didn't do that. And they came way sooner with the chair than we expected. But anyway... Alicia cleaned the kickboards on the stairs and they look great. They look great. I mean, she washed down my staircase essentially. Anyway, they just did a great job. But they did not finish and so there'll be more work for them to do next month when they come. But, you know, then you get inspired and so we did a little extra cleaning ourselves after they were gone and so the house is really clean and it feels great. I'm very excited. <laughs> and Thanksgiving is in a week, so the house will be clean for Thanksgiving. Because, you know, <laughs> I know some people clean every week. Obviously, you know perfectly well that I do not. So a deep cleaning the week before is enough for me to have a clean house for Thanksgiving. Anyway... So that's fun. Now, re reminder earlier in the video, tomorrow is our Zoom craft together. You can find the link to the Zoom a meeting in the Flame and Fiber podcast Ravelry group. There's a sticky post for Saturday Zoom. That's, the, that's what we're talking about. And you can find the link and the password, which is capital Y-A-R-N, in that post. And if you can't get on Ravelry for some reason, you can email me at flameandfiber at mindspring.com. And I'll try to remember to put it in the down bar, even though I don't, I haven't been putting anything in the down bar lately. But I'll try to remember to put it in the down bar so that you can email me. And I will actually look at my emails, which I haven't done in weeks. So if you've emailed me in the last couple of weeks to flameandfiber at mindspring.com, I haven't seen it. And I apologize. I feel like I'm way behind in my community activities, and I apologize for that, but it's just been a lot going on over here, as you know. But all is well, and I have work, still have work to do in my room, but I put my socks away, I put the ironing board away, so I've already made progress. <laughs> But I didn't hardly do anything yesterday, except I finished my crocheting from my old blanket to my new blanket. So here's my new blanket. Uh, 
and I have now it's time I'm gonna go do a light a light load <laughs> two light stripes and I'm gonna use my magic ball that I have been collecting so this is how much of the um, so I'm doing four rows of color mini colors and two rows of this in between so <clears throat> that I have a very nice stripe I think it 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 elevates <laughs> it a little bit not that granny a granny uh, uh, scrappy granny blanket is ever going to be sophisticated but it, it elevates it a little bit and anyway so I'm just ready for and I will be using this magic ball and when I get to the part where and this my magic ball of colors is much smaller where typically it would be bigger um, but I used my magic ball from my blanket for the back of my penguano, which is not finished yet, which is on hiatus along with like everything else I was doing. So anyway, except for my blanket. So the next is this, and then I will soon be picking minis and just, <clears throat> but this is what I, this is my comfort crafting that I've been doing and well and if I keep up the way I'm going my blanket will be done a lot sooner than I anticipated but I won't have any new sweaters or socks or shawls I'll just have a new blanket I had my my first scrappy throw blanket is in the living room and I was under it last night I was feeling chilly and with everything going on in the fireplace area, all clean and spick and span, we didn't have a fire. So I was cuddling under my scrappy blanket. So that was nice. Dennis said, don't forget to tell him about your new drink. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to go do my vlog. Don't forget to tell him about your new drink. So I have a cocktail almost every day. Occasionally I have wine, but I like a cocktail and it's usually lemon juice and gin based. And I made um, my own orange liqueur, which is like Cointreau or, or um, triple sec, whatever, you know, like an orange liqueur. But it doesn't have any sugar in it, obviously, so I have to sweeten it myself. And since I made it and decanted it, it's been decanted into wine bottles. So we have a little pile of drinky things on the counter that I was making my drink at, and I grabbed my... Cointreau and poured it in and it turned out it wasn't Cointreau it was red wine because of course the bottles are identical and I didn't look <laughs> so I said well it's pretty you know <laughs> let me let me taste it and so I had a drink that had lemon juice gin and red wine and I don't know what kind of wine it was um but, you know, it was a really uh, robust red wine that Dennis made that is delicious. And some sweetener. And it was delicious. It was like a, uh, almost like a Cosmo would be if it were lime and vodka. <laughs> so it was a little fruity because it was wine. Anyway, it was delicious. And uh, I have way more red wine at my disposal in this house than I do my Cointreau stuff. So anyway, so the last couple nights I've been having my, and I need a name for it. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but it's basically one part lime, lemon juice, one part red wine, and two parts or three parts uh, gin and sweetener. <laughs> and it's pretty and pink. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> now I need a name for it anyway. So now, you know, I concocted a new cocktail and I really like it. And it's no work for me to have red wine in the house. The Cointreau I have to make, so I'll save it for when I really need it as opposed to, you know, like when it's like important in the drink, like a margarita, you know what I mean? Anyway, so that's my news. Is all is well here? Um, the cat is getting acclimatized. 
We had the door open a little bit. He was wandering around, but he didn't try to go downstairs. The cat's very aware that the dogs are downstairs. And so I think that's going to be enough to keep him upstairs, which is really where we would like him to stay. And um, Aura's sitting with him and, you know, so I think it's, I think he's going to be fine. He just needs a little more room to roam. So we need to be able to keep the doors open so that he can roam back and forth. Um, Dennis put a new gate up. It looks great. It works great. It's very sturdy, much sturdier than what we were using before. So that um, even when the dogs are in, up here in the second floor, because they sleep with us. So they, you know, come and go a little bit. We are blocking the steps at the bottom so they can't just hang out upstairs in front of that gate. But um, so they can't get in there. So Aura can go back and forth and not worry about being knocked over because the dogs love her and they're big. <sighs> Maze lost weight. She was 89 pounds today when I took her to the uh, groomer. So that's interesting. So anyway, beautiful, sturdy gate up there. And if the dogs aren't vulturing right at the gate. I think the cat will feel comfortable walking back and forth between the bedroom and the sitting room and the bathroom and just wander around. And so Aura and the cat can wander around without being harassed by the dogs. <laughs> so it is working out pretty well. Yeah. We just need to settle into our new routine and figure it out. But I do miss having coffee with you, though. So maybe I need to just suck it up and start earlier before I'm done with my coffee. I actually had to get up early today to take Maisie because she's got to be at the vet. The groomer works through our vet and at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, But that ended up with Dennis getting up early, and so everything is a little earlier. So I already had my cappuccino and everything. It's like, wow. Weird. So hopefully I will see you on Saturday. Mark your calendar, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, I really look forward to seeing you. I'm not sure what I'm going to be working on. I hope my drink shelf, because I am quite far behind. It may be that I'm so far behind on the drink shelf that I might abandon it again. And that will, you know, I but I abandoned my other one in June. So I did better. <laughs> My low mojo thing slash no mojo thing is really getting on my nerves, I have to say. So I'm hoping somewhere in the near future I come across energy, brain energy, that will allow me to settle into a new routine that includes knitting and possibly stitching. So there you go. All right, I've gone on and on long enough. I will talk to you tomorrow. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe and stay safe.